Welcome to another episode of Soundcheck on Akron Buzz. I'm your host, Katie Robinson. This week on the program, we'll interview Evan Jarvis, an up-and-coming singer-songwriter from Cuyahoga Falls. Be sure to check him out at one of his Akron area shows. Open up to me I want to help you I want to help you I want to help you follow your dreams I'm here with Evan Jarvis, who is a local singer and songwriter. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So how did you get started in music? I started when I was 14 as a drummer in a band, and uh, then I got jealous because my brother could play guitar really well, and I, I picked up a guitar and started playing that, and then the band broke up. And I was like, well, i got to keep playing music, so I just kept playing. That's cool. So who, who would you consider as your major influences? Um, I just bought a new Damien Rice CD, and I've been listening to that nonstop. I love Damien Rice and Damien Gerardo, Iron and Wine. Um, and then I, I, when I first started out playing, I played a lot of punk music like Green Day and Blink-182 and stuff like that. So I'm, I've got influences all over the place. Yeah, you got a wide variety. Of, I have a wide variety. Of all different people. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's kind of switch gears. How, how do you write songs? What's your songwriting process like? Do you write lyrics first, words? Your lyrics and words are the same thing. <laughs> music first. Um, it kind of depends on the song. Mm -hmm. uh, every once in a while, I'll just like write poetry. And then I start coming up with like... I start playing this thing on the guitar or whatever, and then I just, I, I'm like, well, maybe this would go good with it, and I just like break down the poetry into lyrics. Sometimes I just start playing on the guitar, and then I start just humming, and then start coming up with random words, and then usually I write like comedic lyrics at first, and then I start writing serious lyrics. You know, it, it's different for every song. It's never the same. Mm -hmm. right. so do you play uh, any other instruments besides guitar? Um, like I said, I started out as a drummer. Mm -hmm. So I play guitar, I play drums, I can play a little bit of bass. I try to fiddle around on a harmonica, the ukulele. Um, I, I try, I, I kind of play on the piano a little bit too. I've got like one or two songs that I wrote on the piano. So I'm, I'm practicing a lot of different things. I don't, I don't like to just stick to one instrument. It's, it's fun to play around. Right. You know. Do you have any, any favorite songs in particular you like to play that you've, either you've written or cover songs? <sighs> songs that I like to play that I've written or cover songs. I love the Mario Kart love song. That one's really fun to I've play. I've never heard of that. Really? It's, really? On, it's a YouTube song. A YouTube artist played it and it was like huge for a long time. And yeah. I, play, I like playing that one and I like playing uh, Make You Feel My Love, originally by Bob Dylan. Um, and then as far as original songs, uh, I don't know. I like playing a lot of my, most of my newer songs as opposed to my old songs. I prefer playing a lot of my new songs like the Coffee House Musician, which is the first single on the EP that I'm recording. So yeah. So let's talk about the EP now. You brought it up. What's okay. what's it called? How where are you recording it? When's it come out? Um, All that good stuff. I'm recording it in Massillon at Hope and Truth Studios with my good friends Jason Blanda and Bobby Pelger. Um, and uh, I just we we recorded three songs already, and I I just decided what last two songs I want to put on it. And uh, one of the last two songs I'm going to put on is called Leap of Faith, and the EP will also be called Leap of Faith. Because it's my first EP, so I figured I might as well give it something that's, meaningful. That's a good name for a first EP, though. I thought so, too.
This is the last call The train is leaving with all your sorrow So wave goodbye And don't you dare look back Just look ahead It'll catch you like a virus Keep your chin up and you'll be alright Goodbye You'll see It'll be alright the last chance you get to clear your mind from all those things you've clung on to for dear life let them go What are some of the challenges as, mu as a musician that you face? Um, I, I have a hard time booking shows for some reason. Uh, I, people don't like to email me back. And then uh, whenever I do get to the show, it's, it's always a hardship to get people to shut up and listen. <laughs> so, but you, you, have the, you, you do have those songs though where you just start playing and then the, the crowd just goes silent. Mm -hmm. And then your heart, you know, you get really heartfelt about it. And, happy because you're like, holy crap, everyone's really listening, so I gotta do a really good job. But the biggest challenge for me is probably just trying to sing over everybody else and get them to listen. Right, and I think that's a challenge for any artist, really. Absolutely, yeah. Do you find it hard to balance, like, work, school, music, um, all that stuff? I mean, my, my work schedule is really flexible for the most part. So the, the biggest challenge is, is trying to do your homework and then play your music and then Work, work isn't really the hardship for me because I, I just flex everything around around my work schedule. But the, I think what's hard to find time for is uh, like making videos and posting them on YouTube and whatnot because I like to put my music out there on YouTube. So that's, that's really what's hard to find time to do because I'd like to put more songs out there but it's always tough. Right. Now if people wanted to find out more about you and more about your music and maybe listen to some tracks, where could they go to do that? Maybe what's your YouTube channel? You mentioned um, posting your videos. <laughs> I, uh, I'm on YouTube and the, the name is King of Nothing 10. Uh, the whole King of Nothing name came from when I was in the band and it just it stuck ever since. And uh, so King of Nothing 10 is on, on YouTube and then I've got a MySpace, you can just go to Evan Jarvis. Uh, I'm on Facebook, Evan Jarvis Music, Reverb Nation, r and World, anywhere you go you can probably find me somewhere. <laughs> Very cool. Well, stay tuned here on Akron Buzz. We're gonna hear a live in studio performance from, Ev from Evan when we come back here on Soundcheck. Watch your chest 
rise and fall Never have I felt this way Nor have I been understood I'll watch the window at sunrise So I'll see the light light up your face And your eyes, they'll open and see me I'll smile at you smile back at me never have I felt this way nor have I been understood Tell me you swear that you're happy with me Lord, how I never thought I would I'll give you the world I'll give you the world I'll give you the moon Everything Never have I Felt this way Nor have I Been understood Tell me you swear that you're But I would be happy again Thanks for joining us here on Soundcheck with Evan Jarvis. Join us next time as we spotlight another great local artist, and we'll see you on the next episode of Soundcheck on Akron Buzz.